Okay, so looking into the 2011 season, can you tell me what some of your goals are for this year? What are some of your target races? What are you looking forward to? Well, this season's a little bit different than in the past. You know, I've always really focused on the Pro XCT cross country style racing, and um, this year, you know, I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. So I'll be at Leadville, um, you know, doing ultra races, uh, 50 miler and Whiskey 50 down in Prescott nice. next month, and then I'll also be um, at Marathon Nationals, mm -hmm. and so I'll be again at Downeyville. So that's another big focus. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I didn't seem to. Um, win the downhill so this year you know I hope to mm -hmm. win both events and um, national championship you know I've always kind of I don't know there's been something that's kept me from getting the results I've wanted there so I'm pretty excited about going back and and uh, giving it another try and hopefully mm -hmm. a top three result and you're not just talking about the super D for nationals right yes I'm talking about cross country okay. so yeah last year I won the national super D mm -hmm. um, but uh, and that's also a goal, you know, mm -hmm. it's always a great race, but uh, but the cross country is something that I'd really like to do well at. Great. Well, I know this winter you've been spending a bunch of time in your off season riding dirt bikes around. Can you talk a little bit about about doing that, what it's like, and how you think that might pay off when it comes to when you get back on your mountain bike? Oh, dirt biking is so much fun. It's mm -hmm. great. It's uh, it's an awesome challenge. You know, it's um, it helps me so much with just like looking up the trail, looking ahead. Um, you know, still feeling the flow of mountain biking, but yet, you know, I never have to pedal uphill, so mm -hmm. it's perfect, and um, it really transfers over, you know, to Super D racing, which is a style that I really enjoy doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's it's a great crossover, and um, it's, it's just something I, it gets me away from just pedaling all the time, so mm -hmm. um, I just get that great mental break from riding, and um, yeah, and I just really enjoy it, and you get to mm -hmm. get out and see things more that, you know, I would not get to see on my mountain bike, or which mm -hmm. would take me all day. I can, you know, get out and mm -hmm. see for in a short time. So, um, yeah, I've been getting it way into the motorsports. I just had a track day, like, last week, mm -hmm. and so, or maybe two weeks ago, and mm -hmm. um, on the street bikes, and, and that was a blast. So, um, yeah, it's, it's something I'll probably pursue a little bit more once I, I get done racing mountain bikes. Cool. And do you think it's something you'll even do during the season, or is it more of an off-season activity? No, I'll still do it. You know, definitely. Um, I'm hoping there's a race the first week in May that I'll hit an enduro. Great. Um, in Colorado. So, yeah, no, I'll still try to fit in races whenever I can. And um, and I try to get out at least once a week and still uh -huh. ride. So um, it's something, it just depends on, you know, my travel schedule. But I still try and get it get out pretty frequently during the season. So. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Sure. No problem.